And when you see the laws like in Texas where the governor there and the AG Ken Paxson teamed up on call it literally calling on parents because he's calling on licensed professionals and members of the general public to report parents of transgender minors to state authorities if it appears the minors are receiving gender affirming medical care coming between a parent and a child just ending the support network that that might be there thankfully for the kid and the worst part the worst part i know you're a person of faith a lot of them justified in their twisted perversion of their own faith and namely their view of christianity it's not christianity in my view but their view of christianity it's painful. It's painful to, to, to watch and we can't look away. There are days in the you know the past couple of years I just want to get into bed and pull the covers over my head. It's so painful to watch, but we can't look away and we cannot we cannot isolate ourselves from the fact that Texas and their leadership, they are criminalizing the very essence of what it is to be a parent to a child, which is you love your child unconditionally and the journey that a lot of these parents who have a faith practice and they earnestly believe it they believe you know as as i believe in my faith and and the tenets of my faith practice they do too but the journey that so many of these parents have gone on to go from point a of being anti-gay anti-trans and it's usually based in lack of understanding lack of education lack of uh, a, a broader worldview the journey they take When their nine-year-old, 15-year-old, 19-year-old child comes to them and says, mom, dad, or mom and mom, or dad and dad, you know, this is who I am. And I know this is a lot of news to digest. The journey those faith-based parents go on to learn to be okay and not just be okay with their child, but to celebrate their child, um, that is being undone and criminalized. That is like, I, I'm not a violent person, but I, I feel like I could fight. Again, they don't need it. They don't think it. They're doing it to drum up political business. That's it. Full stop. End of sentence.